baby. Who can sleep? You sleep, Ruru? Yeah, he sleep. We gonna let you sleep. Say good morning, everybody. Good morning. Hi, mystery. What are you doing? You laying in the window? You feeling better today? Huh? Hi. What are you doing? Huh? What are you doing? I know, sugar. You see the camera? Hmm. Well, you guys, they have packed up the bazaar. It'll be back again Saturday. But you know what I just realized? Today was the Shriner Fest air show, and all these jets are getting ready to fly over my house with so much noise. And because I'm so high up in the attic, my whole office shakes, my windows, everything. You probably cannot hear one coming now, but oh my goodness, they are so loud. Whenever they start up really bad, I'll vlog it so you guys can hear it. So I'm out here waiting on these planes so I can show you guys what it sounds like and looks like. Look how blue my pool water is. Ooh, that looks nice for swimming. What are these flowers, y'all? Do y'all know what these flowers are? They're so pretty. I got them everywhere, but I don't know what they're called. They're so pretty, though. A little garden of flowers. Ruru! What you doing, Ruru? Hi, Ruru! Ruru! Hi, baby! You loving the new kitten, Ruru? No? No, Rue is being really jealous of the new kitten. He doesn't like it. He's used to being the only one. Rue, Rue. Hey, baby. Hi, Rue, Rue. Rue, you're so beautiful. You're so beautiful, Rue, Rue. You're so beautiful. Oh, my goodness. Rue says, I am loving it outside. <laughs> yes. You having fun, Rue, Rue? <laughs> This is what the people came for, Rue. This is it, Rue. This is your big moment. He says, I'm not about that internet life. And here come the planes with their loud noise. Where is it at? I can't see it, but I can sure hear it. And they only get louder than this, everybody. They get about 25 times louder than this. And when they fly over the house, it's insane. Guys, look at this little baby squirrel. It's so cute. It doesn't even have fur on its little tail yet. Oh, it's so cute. I want to call it a baby, though. Yeah, I was probably born maybe yeah, in the it's spring. A, it's, it's, yeah. it's taking off running. Oh. It knows it's being filmed. OK, you guys. Here they are. I don't know if you can see them. Well, here's some of the air show, y'all. you guys now last year the air show was so loud and you guys know how my office is up on the fourth floor in the little witch's hat it was so loud I mean these jets went right on top of the house they were so loud that my window shook violently I thought they were gonna break it was insane I'm not happy when they come because I hate the noise. It gives me migraines and it's so incredibly loud that you can't do anything. So I basically had to cancel my class readings and everything tonight because I know that this is the start of the air show and it's gonna become so incredibly loud. Hey you guys, there's one of them. There's one of the culprits. They're gonna make a ton of noise going over the house. And it starts. Nay, nay. Girl, what are you doing? Are we on our way to get you some pull-ups? Yes, I go get, I go get the pull-ups. I go get, I go get. Okay, we're gonna go get 
some pull-ups. Bye, Nene. Bye. Guess what we're making, you guys? Chocolate chip cookie ice cream sandwiches. Mmm. Yummy. We're at the park, you guys. Me and Deuce at the park. There's traffic behind this park. This is the park they want to make into Stoplight City. If you're familiar with Evansville and know about like Franklin Street and how they want to turn like this park into Stoplight City. It's actually like the uh, West Side Nut Club Park. But it's not bad. There's just really nothing going on. So they just kind of want to turn it into something better. Hi, do. Trying to end the day. Gonna go home and edit this vlog. Put it up on my new channel. That's the channel that you're on now. So this is my new vlog channel. So if you haven't already liked this video, please do so. It really helps me out. And subscribe to this channel. I also have another channel, which is my main channel, where you see all my paranormal activity vlogs and all my hauntings and psychic readings and things like that. And this is just mainly for my vlog channel. I do have older vlogs on my other channel, but this from now on is going to be my main vlog channel. So if you guys could subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. So I'm over here at the park, sitting here while they're over there playing. And I got to thinking about something. If you look right here, and let me try to zoom in, my house is over there like across those trees and my aunt lives right here where you can let me see if i can zoom out and get a little more clear she lives right here where like through this swing where there's like a for sale sign on the fence there we go so where that for sale sign is is where my adopted mom's sister lives well this is how crazy this gets okay my adopted mom I see probably once every three months okay now again my house is like we're at the park and the, my house is probably if you look above that roof right there where those tree that tree is right there that's my tree so my aunt lives right there I live right there behind her like behind her in caddy corner and my foster mom adopted mom the one adopted me when I was 10 comes over to my aunt's every single day but she does not stop by my house at all. She does not. So look how close I am. And she has to drive by my house to get back to her house, which is, again, not that far from my house. And I see her about every three months for about 20 minutes. Now, you guys tell me how messed up that is. Crazy, right? And here's another thing. So I'm getting ready to buy my daughter a house. My oldest daughter, my grandchild live with me and she knows this. And this is a house extremely close to me and she doesn't even tell me that she puts it up for sale. So how we find out it's for sale is that we come to the park one day walking and we see a for sale sign on the fence. Now imagine that. So when my daughter asks her grandma, how come she didn't say anything about the house? She just says, oh, she wants too much for it. But she never even told us about it. That's another story for another time. I just thought while sitting over here at the park and they're over there playing, I just, I really got to reminiscing about that and thinking about that and thought, that's just wrong. And, and, the, and again, this is probably why I have let so many of my family members go because I just, I, I just don't even have any family. You know, my birth dad has always told me, oh, I'm going to be in your life. I'm going, to, I'm going to be there for you. And he always disappoints me. Always. Let, let's take Father's Day, for instance. And I, you know, I tell him to come at three o'clock. I invite him. He doesn't tell me that he has to go anywhere else. He doesn't say, oh, hey, I have to go somewhere else first or something like that. He's like, you know, I'll be there. What time? And I said, three o'clock. And he said, okay. He calls me at two. And I said, you know, we're running a little bit late, maybe 15 minutes behind, but, you know, you can go ahead and come on. At 4.30, <laughs> I message him, and I'm like, what, what are you doing, or where are you at? And he's like, oh, I'm at your grandpa's, but I'll be there in a little bit. Well, that's my grandfather that I've never met. And, um, you know, so I'm like, okay. 
So by the time it's almost six o'clock, and you're talking three hours from the time Father's Day barbecue started it, my niece and nephew are there, everybody's ate, everybody's already swam, we've already had dessert, now it's time for me to take my niece and nephew home, and now he calls me to say he's on his way. Are you kidding me right now? So it's like, I, I, I wasn't even important, he didn't even bother, so... You know, that's just one more person that I'm just going to cut out of my life. Because why bother? You know, I'm not going to kill myself to be in somebody's life and they don't care to be in mine. So, yeah. I'm just sitting here and thinking about that. Just thought I'd share it. Now we are walking around the block. There's Franklin Street right there. There's that uh, church I did that paranormal vlog on with the haunted kids on the roof. And then we live down this way. So now we're just walking home.